by this time there's uh, quite a few Mennonites that are coming to him and saying, uh, count us in if you have any other properties of that type available. And my dad was very close to the Vineland Experimental Station, which is on Victoria Avenue by the lake. Okay? And there was a Van Harlem there and some of these uh, uh, people that were running the whole place and my dad w became very friendly with them and they explained to my dad you see my dad was very interested with peaches because in the depression days those first Mennonites in the Vineland area the Colts, the Fretches, the Rittenhouses and all those they could sell their peaches even in the depression days so it was very important to have land that you could grow peaches on. And peaches need drainage for the roots. They cannot, the soil has to be sandy and there's got to be good drainage. And you have to be in a close proximity to Lake Ontario. If you were just a four or five miles away from the lake, you're going to lose your peaches because they're going to freeze. Not every year, but once in five, six years, a frost comes in the wintertime, kills the trees and or the blossoms in the spring. You have to be within a certain proximity of the shoreline, the south shoreline of Lake Ontario. Number one, the soil has to be right, good drainage, and the uh, proximity to the lake it was very important. That is what the Van Harlem's explained to my dad. Okay, so that's when my dad picked up that farm there on the east side of the Jordan, right on the lake, the Victoria, the uh, John Street on the, off Victoria Avenue is uh, within half a mile or a mile of the lake. And if the soil is right, you can grow peaches. And if you grow peaches, you can sell them even in Depression days. Okay. So anyway, there was not too many more farms for sale that the Home Smith Company had foreclosed on in the Vineland area. But now the Home Smith Company are phoning my dad and saying, you know, Mr. Wall, we have lots of foreclosures in Niagara Township. You should take a look at it. My dad said, it's sandy soil, good soil. Yes, it's good soil. So he's telling all these Mennonites, now this is sandy soil, you can grow peaches and peaches sell in depression. And you can put your orchards in uh, between those trees, you put in strawberries, you put in all kinds of cash crops that you can sell on the market and get a few cents to survive on until it takes four years, five years for the tree to develop to produce uh, crops, you know, of, of, of fruit. And he's telling all these men, and you grow peaches because you can, uh, you can uh, do well with peaches even in Depression days. Anyway, 19, by the time 1938 came along, there's quite a few Mennonites now in Niagara all growing peaches and uh, strawberries and all kinds of other stuff. And they're flooding the market. 1938, about 30% of the peach crop rotted on the ground because there's no sale for it. They flooded the market, they overdid it. And here my dad told all these people to grow fruit. He felt he had a moral obligation to help them out somehow. So if you have a canning factory, you put that food into cans, and then it doesn't rot. And that's how the canning factory came about. 